Hey, welcome to Comparing AI, where we're finding the best AI tools. So there are tons of AI writing assistants online, but most of them require a monthly plan. However, in this video, I found six AI tools that don't require any investment at all. So you can write more effectively, write clearly and create more content. So let's jump into my computer. I'm going to go through examples of each one, how many words and creations you get, and just give you an overview. So let's not waste any time. Let's start using these tools so you can find the best ones. Okay, here we are on my computer. Now I've been using all of these tools for a little bit. So let's go through the six top AI writing tools. The very first option and the best one on this list is hands down is Notion AI. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Notion, this is originally a productivity tool, a note-taking app on steroids where you can create tables, databases, to-do lists, project management, all this cool stuff. And they recently just announced Notion AI and it's currently in its alpha stage. But let's jump into Notion and show you why this is my top free AI tool. So if you click on something, you can see ask AI to write, continue writing, summarize. Let's just ask it to write something. Let's click generate. Now this is completely free and this is usually a paid feature if you're just getting it to brainstorm text. And here are some YouTube title ideas. Now let's click on this again. Uh, this toolbar here is a different extension I'll be going over uh, later in this video. But let's click ask AI. And now let's do, let's see, let's ask AI to write, write an introduction for a YouTube video about this topic. And as you can see, it's spitting out this text and let's just copy this, paste it here. And it always adds this little thing at the bottom, but there we go. And I do have some text down here, which is probably using as an input. That's how it got some of these phrases. But are you looking for a free AI writing assistant to help you create content quickly and easily look no further? You can read that for yourself. So this is notion. And then you can also highlight this, the toolbar pops up click the ask AI and these are all the different editing functions it gives you. So we can make it longer, make it shorter, we can summarize it. I like to use the improved writing so it'll just make everything more clear. And the outputs are very good on this tool and there's unlimited words. You get all these different outputs. You can enter prompts and I'm actually just gonna turn the other one off for now because it's getting in the way. So we're just gonna turn off text cortex. We'll get to that one in a bit. But yeah, Notion gives you all of these things. You can even translate it to let's say Japanese. I don't know if this is correct, but that is pretty cool. And this is all completely free, unlimited words. Now the main caveat with this is it's still in its alpha release. So you have to join the waitlist. It took me about four weeks to get accepted, but it was well worth it because this is essentially a tool that's going to cost money in the future. And you're getting a tool that should be costing like 20, 30, 40 bucks a month, absolutely free right now. So I recommend just going to the site, joining the waitlist, and hopefully you get accepted so you can take advantage of this free tool while it lasts. Now the second tool I have is called Writer. Now they market themselves as an affordable AI writing tool. It has over 4 million users. This is the only one that I have not tried, but I found it for this video because if we look at its pricing, it lets you generate 10,000 characters for free every single month. It has really good reviews and you can see in the free plan, you get all of these things as you can see here, even a built-in plagiarism checker. And for those wondering, 10,000 characters equates to about 1,500 to 2,500 words per month for free. So it's not unlimited words, but that's pretty good for a free plan. And this tool does look pretty high quality. Like if we look through the video, you get 40 different use cases. They have a browser extension. You can edit the tones. You can rewrite and rephrase topics. As you can see, it's showing you the editor right here. So while you're waiting to get into Notion, you could try joining Writer and you get 15 to 2,500 words for free with this tool. That is number two on this list. Now, number three is Text Cortex. This one is good for writing small amounts of words because it gives you 10 free credits every single day. As you can see, it has this toolbar, which allows you to rewrite, put bullet points to emails. And let's actually just show you how it works. So if you go to a Google doc, text cortex pre-fills this information. So I like the press release feature. So let's do um, a website called comparing AI that helps you find the best AI tools. Let's click generate. And here we go. Find the best AI tools with comparing AI, a new website that helps you find the best AI tools for your needs. You can compare AI tools based on features, prices, and more. So pretty good. And then also if you highlight the text, it will pop up with this toolbar that has 10 different features. 
Now I am on the paid plan, but the free plan includes things like bullet point to email. So you can highlight three to five simple bullet lists, turn them into a meaningful messages. Now I have another extension <laughs> that's also getting in the way. I have a bunch of extensions here for this video, uh, but I've been using Text Cortex for a little bit and this toolbar gives you 10 different features if you're on the paid plan. The free one you can obviously rewrite. It'll take five to 10 seconds here and it'll just give you some options and then you can click load more. Now, every time you click this load button, that counts as one creation. You get 10 free creations every day. Now, one really good thing with this extension is it's integrated with 1000 websites. So some of the browser extensions, they don't work on every website. Text Cortex works everywhere that I've used it. Uh, WordPress, Gmail, Notion, Google Docs. It's been everywhere that I use it, which isn't the case on some of the other extensions that I've used. Now let's do the next one, which is called WordTune. Now this is another popular extension. It has over a million users, really good reviews, and it's kind of similar to Text Cortex. So I'm gonna turn off Text Cortex here, just so we can see the WordTune, but it works similar. It's a browser extension. And as you can see, it's right here and helps you rewrite and rephrase your sentences. And this is the toolbar that pops up. So we can do entire paragraphs or we can select sentences and do one at a time. As you can see, it gives you a ton of suggestions that pop up here. Let's bring this down a little bit. And this gives you a lot more outputs than Text Cortex, the one we went through previously. And with this WordTune extension, you also get 10 free credits every single day. But the good thing with this free plan is you get many different outputs. So you can actually choose one that you like. So you're very likely to get outputs that you like. And the main features here are you get the standard rewrite feature. You can change the tone from casual to business or formal, sorry. And then you can also shorten and expand the text. And as we looked at, you can do single sentences or entire paragraph rewrites. Now, one of the downsides with WordTune is the integration. It doesn't integrate with as many websites as Text Cortex. In fact, most of the time, I'm actually just opening the web app editor, if we go here, to edit it because it doesn't integrate with every website that I use. However, the outputs are very high quality. So if we highlight here, click rewrite, you can see all these different options that it gives you. Formal, select, and then it goes to the next sentence. Select, and then it goes to the next sentence. And if you're in the editor, they actually just released spices. And this is one of the spices I created, but essentially this is made for long form content generation. And you can see, you can make analogies, you can make jokes, historical facts. So I haven't tried this, but let's try a nature fact here. See what it pops up with. I don't know if it's gonna to relate to the writing. And it's taken quite a bit, but no matter where they live, all animals have to adapt to their environment to survive. Um, so this has nothing to do with the text, but I guess you can just come up with animal and nature content, which is interesting. But if you want to do something related to the content, you can, let's say, emphasize. And this is available for free while it's in beta. And this has unlimited words while it's in beta. And then the actual editor here gets 10 free credits a day. But anyways, that is WordTune. Now the best one for students is called Quillbot. Maybe students, teachers, or anyone that needs to paraphrase. The free features you get here are a paraphraser, a grammar checker, and a summarizer, and a citation generator. But essentially you will just paste your text here, put it in here, click paraphrase, and then it'll basically spin the text that you have here. And the main feature here is the synonyms. So you can slide this all the way to the left. There will be fewer changes. Or if you want the AI to be more creative, you can slide it to the right and it'll get more synonyms throughout the text that you entered. Now, sometimes with Quillbot, you really have to play around with it or sometimes it doesn't make sense depending on this slider here. But this is a way to paraphrase text. On the free version, you can do up to 125 words per entry, but it is unlimited. You can use this as much as you want as you can see, I just went to the website. You don't have to enter your credit card or sign up. And then they also have the grammar checker. They have a summarizer, which you can enter up to a thousand words, I believe. Unlimited and for free. And they have a Chrome extension and Microsoft Word extension as well. And those are the first five tools. Now the last one as a bonus, I will show you Grammarly. Now Grammarly has over 30 million users. You've probably heard it. And this doesn't really generate text, but it's one of the best online editors just to make error-free 
content and writing. So this works in the background as a Chrome extension and it will just give you suggestions and it will give you real time edits to spot grammar and spelling mistakes instantly as you write. It will give you some suggestions to help you write more concisely and Grammarly integrates basically everywhere. When you use the browser extension, it just runs in the background. Now those are the best free AI tools for writing that I have found so far. Definitely Notion is the best because it's basically a paid tool that is free right now just because it's an alpha. So I would take two seconds, join that waitlist because it is 100% worth it. Then after that, you can check out the other options that I mentioned, which will all be linked in the description below. Depending on if you want to do a little bit of writing, a lot of writing, if you want a browser extension, check them all out and drop a like if this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.